What's up, y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to AD Cooks. And on the menu today is a New York strip steak, easy, simple meal. What we're going to do is add some pepper and salt to this. I've already added pepper on this side to it. We're going to go ahead and go in with some uh, kosher salt to it. And we're just going to pat it in a little bit. Then we're going to go over on our other side. Add more black pepper. Add more kosher salt. And what we want to do is kind of flip it over the excess salt and pepper. We're going to do it on our sides. And there we have it. If you haven't had your steak to room temperature, you first want to get this to room temperature. But uh, if yours is to room temperature, we're going to go ahead and jump into searing our steak in a cast iron skillet. Okay, what we have in front of us is a cast iron grill. And what our intentions is, is to get this thing hot and we want it to smoke. So before we add any olive oil, we want to kind of heat our grill up to where we see a little smoke coming from it. And the reason why we want that is so we can get a nice crust on the outside of our steak and get a nice sear on it. So we'll let this thing heat up and then we'll add our olive oil. Okay guys, I went ahead and added my olive oil and we see smoke. So let's go ahead and add our New York strip. And at this point, you kinda just wanna let it sit. Do not move it around. We wanna brown this on this first side and make sure we get a nice crust on it. So do not move it. So we'll let this brown up on us and uh, flip it over once we have it brown. Alrighty, steak has been on for about five minutes on this side. So what we're gonna do is flip it over and a key to let you know that everything is seared properly is if your steak is able to move. Cause if it wasn't able to move, then it's not done searing. So we'll flip it over. There we have it. What we're gonna do is go in with a little butter on top. And we're just gonna let that sit. Okay, steak has been on this side for about five minutes. What we're gonna do is turn our eye off. Turn it around, and we're gonna go in with some garlic butter on top. We're gonna cover this with foil. Your eyes should be off at this point, and we're gonna let this sit, because you do not want to cut into your steak while it's like piping hot so you'll lose all that juice. So we'll turn the eye off, cover with foil, and let it sit for about maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Okay guys, we went ahead and let our steak sit for about 10 minutes. And what we wanna do is uh, take the steak, because we want that garlic butter on the other side of it. So we covered this in the skillet and let things sit. We're gonna flip it over on the opposite side that we put that garlic butter on.
and we'll add some more on this side. And we just we just want to let this sit. We want to let the garlic butter penetrate through this other portion or this other side of our steak. So we'll let this sit. Everything should be cool enough at this point to where we can cut it. But we just want that garlic butter to marinate in on this side. And uh, next video, we'll be cutting this baby. All right, guys, our steak has sat for a minute. What we're gonna do is go ahead and put it on our cutting board. Got that butter uh, on this side as well. So let's go ahead and cut this baby. Nice crust, but tender on the inside. This should be a nice, medium, rare type of steak. Alrighty, we went ahead and finished slicing our New York strip steak. And uh, we have a little pink in this. This is how I like my steak. This is a medium, uh, rare steak. And if you want less red in your steak, then cook it longer than that five minutes on each side. But this is it, y'all. Nice, beautiful piece of New York strip steak. And I really appreciate you all for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And peace.